What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We've got another movie reaction for you, and we're jumping into the Jordan Peele universe. I don't know what's taken us so long to start watching his movies. I don't know. But starting with Get Out. You get out. <laughs> we all need to get out of this Get one. out. If you guys didn't know, we watch movies every single weekend over on the Nikki and Steven live channel. Yes, that is correct. We have a live streaming YouTube channel. Yes. The link's somewhere around here. There's one down below. And we have fun there. It is a blast live streaming with the community and hanging out and watching movies with y'all. But before we jump into this movie reaction, we've got a sponsor for this one, and it's all Nikki. Scent bird, y'all. Do you love perfume as much as I do? Because I... Love it. I she wear something good, every way. single day. If you ever want to know what Nikki from Nikki and Steven React smells like, I smell like flowers constantly. I like jasmine. I like bergamot, gardenia, citrus, all those things. I have literally been a subscriber of theirs for years. Whether it's one perfume a month, three perfumes a month, you can get the variety. You can get one, two, or three. I've seen the amount of perfume that she has. She has a lot. I have a lot. And you can even subscribe and get the cases. Okay, these cases are fantastic. This particular one is Tom Ford Black Orchid. And if you have any idea how much Tom Ford perfumes go for, you're gonna want to sign up for this one. It's like 17 bucks a month and you get at least a 30 day supply. I can't go through that much perfume. Because I, well, I have so many. So. <laughs> but we got sent some really awesome ones for this. And um, they're not just for ladies like me. Okay? They're also for dudes like that. Everybody. Modern Gentleman. Um, yes, please. Modern Gentleman by Joseph Abood. Oh, yeah. So we have Citrus Peel, Pear, Clary Sage, Ginger, and Geranium. Yes. I think I have a new cologne. All day. And But look at these cases. Okay? So it's a travel case. You can spray it from here and you can change it super duper easy. I love this. That's awesome. And it even comes with a little baggie. So we got three more scents also. Two unisex, one male. I love them. They smell so, so good. But me, I'm a floral person. So I like all of these. My absolute favorite is the Gucci Flora. Oh my goodness. I can confirm by the way that Nikki always does smell very nice. Thank you so much. But yeah, so I have like a purple and silver theme going, but you can like coordinate, like we have the blue, the silver and the light blue. And like you can get whatever it's color you want. Nice. So on the site, you can actually, you have a queue of all of the scents that you want to add for your subscription. They don't just send you, I mean, you can have random ones sent to you, but you can take a quiz, find out which scents you like, pick from those particular scents, add them to your queue, and then every month with your subscription, you will get a nice new perfume. And then if you wanted to add cases on there, you get the case too. I have got my scents queued up through January of next year. I'm good to go. This month I am getting the Bagley Mishka Sweet Bloom perfume and I'm super excited. So if you wanna smell really nice like Nikki does, <laughs> Make sure to use the code Nikki Steven, N I K K I S T E V E N. It's our names, it's the channel name, that's the code. You get 55% off. 55% off your first, your first month. month. So go check it out. There should be a link down below. There'll be one pinned in the comments. But yeah, check it out. You ready to check out this movie reaction? Yes. Get out. Let's go. Got me out here in this creepy, confusing ass suburb. Gosh, how serious though. I feel like a sore thumb out here. Alright, baby. Alright, I'll talk to you soon. It's like a fucking hedge maze out here. Right in. Left. Oh, man. Uh -oh. The fuck's that? Run rabbit, what is that? Fuck this, we're about to go the other way, okay? Not today. Oh, shit. Come on, bro. Yo! Oh, what the hell? Uh, what the fuck? 
Uh, that's a fucked up start. I love this dude. He had that like one good episode of Black Mirror. Oh yeah, the um, <laughs> suck in the room, right? That I don't remember exactly which one. Black Panther. I mean, that's one way to do it. Just use your head to knock on the door. What's it going over there? I'm good. Can you give me a minute, Sid? You gotta pry something out of your dad. What? Do they know I'm black? No. My dad would have voted for Obama a third time if he could have. They are not racist. Right. I would have told you. Hopefully they're not going to the neighborhood that we uh, just saw in the open. I don't know, <laughs> those trees. Hold on, I gotta call Rod. How can I get in trouble for patting down an old lady? Gary just think as an elderly bitch is elderly. She can't hijack no motherfucking black. <laughs> Next 9-11 is gonna be on some geriatric shit. Straight up. Look, man. I'd like to talk to him, please. Hi, Rod. Okay. You know you picked the wrong guy, right? Oh, yeah, of course I that. This is all just a ploy to get to you. It's not okay. too late for us. Okay, get your own girl. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know, manage because you never take my advice. Like, don't go to a white girl parent's house. She doing licking your balls or something? <laughs> this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Rod is fun. You're jealous. I mean, you're jealous. So jealous of it's Rod. Rod. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Stop. Is that a fucking like jackrabbit or something flying across the street? What the hell? Well, maybe he's gone, you know. I don't want to see this. Was it a deer? I don't know. It looked like a rabbit or something. Yeah, it looked like a. I mean, it looked Small. like a large rabbit. What the fuck? There's no way that was a deer. Sir, can I see your license, please? Wait, why? No, no, no. He wasn't driving. I didn't ask who was driving. I asked to see his ID. Yeah, why? Fuck that. You don't have to give him your ID because you haven't done anything wrong. Maybe be me, he's a peak. We have every right to That's ask. bullshit. Thank you, officer. I need to, like, go back and watch that scene in slow-mo because that did not look like a fucking deer. Right? It was hot. Hot. I'm not going to let anyone fuck with my man. What is that officer going to I mean, the open to this movie set a very uncomfortable tone. Yeah. Now, is he worried now? Yeah, what's... We actually had a deer. Is it dead? Yeah. Yeah, it came out of nowhere. We got it pretty good. Oh, hey, 40-year-old virgin. Oh. I say one down, a couple hundred thousand to go. Oh, shit. They're destroying the ecosystem. I see a dead deer on the side of the road. I think to myself, that's a start. Okay. So how long has this been going on? This, this thing? <laughs> Four months. Four months? Mm. Uh, five months. <laughs> when my daughter brings home boyfriends, I'm definitely going to make them feel uncomfortable. My, my dad's claim to fame was beat by Jesse Owens in the qualifying round. I mean, Hitler's up there with all his perfect Aryan race bullshit. This black dude comes along, proves him wrong. Tough break for your dad, though. Yeah. You almost got over it. Basement, we had to seal it up. Got some black mold down there. Georgina, this is Chris. This is Rose's boyfriend. Hi. Hello. The nearest house is like across the lake. It's... That sounds scary. Come on, I get it. White family, black servants. It's a... That's what I was thinking, but... We hired Georgina and Walter to help care for my parents. Couldn't bear to let them go. Something feels off. Yeah, I'm really sketched out right now. He feels weird. By the way, I, I would have voted for Obama for a third term if I could. Best president in my lifetime, hands down. My mom passed away when I was like 11. Hit and run. That's awful. Oh, like the deer, is that why he had a thing? 
Well, that's okay. We don't have to talk about that. You smoke, Chris? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you doing something a little bit over there? Huh? I'm quitting. It's a nasty habit, though. Thanks. You should have Missy take care of that for you. How? Hypnosis. The sight of a cigarette makes me want to vomit. I'm good, actually. <laughs> Thank yes. you. We just kept it up because after after they died, we just it felt like. What is happening? Oh, oh. Georgina, why don't you go lay down? Just get some rest. Does the mom have these folks hypnotized? That's what I'm thinking. This is weird. Why are they acting weird? Like the look on the mom's face is just like like what. I don't know. It's like the way this is filmed so far, the things that they're focusing on. Yeah. Something feels so off. Rose has a crush on this guy, Connor Garfield. No. Connor Garfield? No. Was this dude in X-Men? Yeah, I think so. He's the guy that yells. The yeller guy. He slipped some tongue and I was not expecting it. And it was, it was a reflex. As a parent, I don't want to hear this. <laughs> What the fuck? Like, what is happening? So you an MMA fan? You mean like UFC? Yes. Yeah, nah, too brutal for me. I did judo after school, first grade. <laughs> judo. Is this the fucking guy in the beginning of the movie? Carrot cake. Ooh. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Carrot cake. Dude, everyone is acting fucking weird. The thing about this dude on drugs. Yeah. Time about jujitsu. Strength doesn't matter, right? It's all about this. Is that true? No, it's not. It's true. a strategic game. That's true. It's all about being two, three, four moves a hit. True. Strength helps a shit ton, though. Stand, stand, stand up. Jeremy, uh, no karate at the dinner table. It's not karate, mom. Yo, I got a rule. No, no, no play fighting with drunk dude. I wasn't gonna hurt him. What the fuck? Yeah, he's got a lot of patience to be dealing with this stuff. Oh my god, and then my dad was a, my man stuff. Yep. Oh, and my mom being rude Clearly to Georgina? Your parents what the fuck was that about? That was so crazy. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I, I'm terrified now. I told you so. Like, I am sorry. No, no, no. Wait, come here, come here. Come here. I'm sorry. I would be like, I'm gonna go home now. I don't want to do this anymore. Like, her family is treating him weird. The folks who are working on the house are acting fucking weird. Like, what the hell? What is that? Is that like one of those nanny cams? Are you fucking kidding me? That's weird. Why is that? It, what? This is all weird. Dude, you need to get out of there, man. What is that? Why is there an open door? Hell to the nah. We need to go. We need to go right now. Uh, no, I don't think that this is a great idea, whatever you're about to go do right now. I think that we just need to wait till it's daylight and then say, oh, gotta go. Looks like I missed a doctor's appointment or something. Like the way this is playing out, it's giving me like super uncomfortable. <laughs> Scary movie. Uh, okay, kind of I don't like it. I don't like it. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. I mean, I don't know how he is keeping so calm with the way her family's treating him. Like, I I think he's like shoving like shoving it aside because it's not like outright blatant like. Yeah, and he likes her. He does. He's trying real hard. And she clearly likes him. What the fuck is this? Hello? This is fucking creepy as hell. What is happening? 
She's totally like hypnotized them, right? Yeah, I think like, so. Dude, just fucking running sprints out in the middle of the night outside in the dark. What the hell? Do you realize how dangerous smoking is? Yeah. Come in and sit with me. Nah, I'm good. Please. Thank you. Her facial expressions are throwing me off more than anyone else. Yeah. So you're comfortable enough, right? It's perfect. Thanks. Sure. Did we get a clock? What time is it right now? Like, how late is it? I don't know. You just dangle a pocket watch in front of people's faces, is that it? <laughs> is this bitch gonna try to hypnotize him right now? I don't like it. Gonna turn him into one of your fucking servants? I'm gonna quit, I promise. That's my kid. That is my kid. You understand? What about your mother? Uh, I thought we weren't going to talk about this. You were being all sensitive about it before, now not. I don't want to think about that. What do you hear? Rain. Rain. It was raining. She is making me feel really uncomfortable. Same. <laughs> you hear it? Find it. Can you stop stirring your fucking tea, please? Come here, Chris. Look at me. <laughs> I'm just gonna say this is so good and so well done so far because there are not a lot of things that make me feel uncomfortable. This movie is doing it. She, uh, she was coming home. And she wasn't home. I don't like this. You didn't call anyone? No. Why not? <laughs> I did make it real. What is she doing to him? How do you feel now? I can't move. You can't move. What the fuck, dude? You're paralyzed. Just like that day when you did nothing. You did nothing. Sink into the floor. Wait, 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 wait. Sink. <laughs> He is a phenomenal actor, by the way. Yes. Those facial expressions, this, this those tears. This is a trip. Yeah, what the fuck is happening right now? She clearly got him into her little trance. In the hell? <sighs> this movie is a trip. The f What's up, man? Working you good out here, huh? Nothing I don't want to be doing. I'm Chris. I know who you are. She is lovely, isn't she? Rose? Top of the line? A real doggone keeper? <laughs> Sorry about last night. My exercise. I didn't mean to scare you. And did it work? It will work. You were in Mrs. Armitage's office for quite some time. I guess I had too much of that wine last night. Can't really remember. So. <laughs> Fuck, dude. <laughs> this is some trippy ass shit going on. I think your mom hypnotized me last night. What? And I can, I can barely remember anything, but now the thought of a cigarette makes me want to throw up. Yeah, she got you. What's Walter's deal? Dude's whole vibe's hostile. Did you say something? Maybe, maybe he likes you. So you think I've, you think I've got a chance at him? Right, you got Put jokes. Put in a good okay. word. No, you got jokes. <laughs> oh, man. 
begins. Are you ready for this? No, I would like to go home now. Thank you so much. Why is it like... Yeah, just smile the whole time. Yeah, there you go. There. Wow, looks like a banger of a party. Nice to meet you, Chris. You, uh, you ever play golf? Once. I do know Tiger. Uh, what the fuck? <coughs> Racist. How handsome is he? I'm, are you? Why is everybody being so fucking weird? Okay. Oh. Not bad. Hey, Nielsen. What the fuck is happening? Is it better? Oh, oh my, my god. god. I gotta go. Are you what kidding? the fuck? What are you doing? <laughs> what is wrong with these people? Black is in fashion. What? I gotta go. I, we are leaving, bitch. I don't care who you are. You don't talk like this to anyone. What the fuck? Uh, okay, so you were just talking about me. Good to see another brother around here. Oh, shit. Yes, of course it is. There you are. <laughs> Chris was just telling me how he felt much more comfortable with my being here. What the fuck is this? Bye. That was the guy from the beginning. We got fucking hypnotized and did this shit? Oh my god, run, dude. Fucking run, dude. Yeah. The fuck is exactly my question? I feel like I have my confused face going on for a long time during this movie. Jim Hudson. Chris. I know who you are. I am an admirer of your work. You have a great eye. Jim Hudson? Hudson Galleries? Believe me, the irony of being a blind art dealer isn't lost on me. My assistant describes the work to me in great detail. One day you're developing prints in the dark room, and the next day you wake up in the dark. That's brutal. Yeah. <laughs> What the fuck is happening? Are all these folks under fucking hypnosis? Who keeps unplugging his phone? His phone's dead, huh? Dude, I would have been gone so long ago. Right? She unplugged my phone. Who? Georgina. I came here to talk to Rod and I got no juice. Maybe she doesn't like the fact that I'm with you. So you are so sexy that people are just unplugging your phone? Okay, I'm sorry, it's all good, right? No, it's not all good, be honest. It's like they haven't met a black person that doesn't work for them. Yep, you're in it. I got hypnotized last night. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Bro, how you not scared of this, man? Look, they could have made you do all types of stupid shit. They'd have you fucking barking like a dog. I don't know if you know this. White people love making people sex slaves and shit. Look, Jeffrey Dahmer was eating the shit out of his head, but that was after he fucked the heads. He did? He did that? They didn't get a chance to jiggle shit because their head was off their fucking body. I had... I'm gonna have to look into Jeffrey Dahmer now. What the fuck? Yo, and it's the black people out here too. It's like all of them missed the movement. Because <laughs> they probably hypnotized. Look, bruh, all I'm doing is connecting the dots. I'm taking what you presented to me. I think that mom is putting everybody in a trance and she's fucking the shit out of them. Thanks, Rod Bly. Hello. Fuck. Hi. Oh my God. How rude of me to have touched your belongings without asking. There was no funny business. I lifted your cellular phone to wipe down the dresser. How foolish of me. I wasn't trying to snitch. Snitch. Rat you out. Tattletale. Oh, don't you worry about that. I don't answer to anyone. There's too many white people, I get nervous, you know. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's a 
like he's trying to tell him something, but she can't. I do something. It's like she's permanently stuck in that place. Yeah. It's like there's like subtle moments of like almost like a glitch. Yeah, yeah. Where they're fighting through the trance, but they can't fully break out of it, and they're stuck in that place that we saw him in. She was trying to tell him. Yeah. Like, fucking leave. Get out of here. Is what I got the vibe. Chris, I want to introduce you uh, to some friends. No, I'm good. I don't want to meet your friends. Do you find the being African Omega as more advantage? <laughs> Can you just talk to me like I'm a person, please? They were asking me about the African-American experience. Maybe you could take this one. I find that the African-American experience for me has been, for the most part, very good. I've just had no interest. The chores have become my sanctuary. What in the hell, dude? Sorry, man. Okay. Get out! Yo! Yeah. These are create anxiety, which can trigger aggression. I feel like she was trying to tell him to get out too. It's much better. Oh, much better. After hanging out with you, huh? The whole ordeal has made me quite a bit exhausted. Logan, you just get some rest. Dude, the acting in this movie is phenomenal. Let's get this uh, party back on track. How about sparklers and bingo? Yeah, sparklers and bingo. Sounds like a great party. My cousin's epileptic. That wasn't a seizure. But can we leave now, please? It felt like a new one. I think she got in my head. And I don't think all this fucked up shit that I don't want to think about. I just need to go. You want to go? Support him, please. She's going to take it personally. Instead of being understanding. Worst? Wait, what the fuck? Why is she? Why? Why is there a picture of him? Dude, this is one of the trippiest fucking movies I've ever seen. Let's go home. This sucks. This sucks. Let's go home. I'll make something up. Yeah, get the fuck out of there. I love you. I'm so concerned for that. I I'm I don't want I'm anything so bad to happen. For him. Andre Hayward. Yeah, that is him. He's different. No shit. Why is he dressed like that? It's not that, it's everything. He came to the party with a white woman like 30 years old now. Sex slave! You want some eye wide shut situation? Leave, motherfucker! No. You gonna be a. Hello? Hey, handsome. Are you packing? Rose, we gotta go. We gotta go now. Okay, yeah. I don't like this at all. What is this door? I wouldn't even bother. I would just fucking run my ass outside. Oh my god. Does she fucking bring these d dudes to their... What the fuck? This is so fucking creepy! This is so fucking creepy! Hey, are you ready? Yeah, yeah, I'm just looking. Just looking for my camera. Have you got the keys? They are in here somewhere. Are you okay? Fuck no, I'm not okay. Hey, uh... I hate this. So it oh, was the it. brother in the open, because he's talking about MMA and jujitsu and shit, and he choked the dude out. Yo. Yo, man. 
party was just getting started. I'm just putting bags in the car, man. Would anyone like tea? Fuck no. Is something wrong? Rose? Yeah, there's a lot of things wrong. Oh, how terrible. Y'all are some sick motherfuckers. Roast keys. Oh my god, run. What is your purpose? In life. What is your purpose? Motherfucker, what's your purpose? Right now, he's finding those keys. Huh. Fire. I hate all this! We are the gods, trapped in cocoons. Rose. Rose, no! No, keys! Oh, be careful, bro. What the fuck? What the fuck is going on? Are they using their daughter? Where are those keys, Rose? Is she hypnotized too? You know I can't give you the keys, right, babe? Oh. Fuck. She's part of it. This is so fucked up. No. Shit. Is he hurt? Did you see him trap? Please take him downstairs, Dean, help him. I can get him alone. Oh, shit. Oh. oh my god, this is awful. You were one of my favorites. Ew! Hey, it's Chris. I need to away from the phone. I just don't want to talk to you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Deer. They hit the deer in the road. He's sitting in front of a fucking TV. They're like triggering emotions. I'm Roman Armitage. And if you're watching this, you're probably wondering what's going on. You have been chosen because of the physical advantages you've enjoyed your entire lifetime. Physical advantage? Don't waste your strength. Don't try to fight it. You can't stop the inevitable. Maybe one day you'll enjoy being members of the family. Hell no. The fuck is that? <sighs> I think I know where this is going. But who do they want him to be? Rod Williams. What do you say? Yes, ma'am. I think he was auctioned off. Oh, art, is that what the fucking was? To the art dude, the blind guy. Oh my god. I think that's why all these these people are missing because they're getting taken in, hypnotized, and it's like a modern day like slave trade. So Chris sent this to me from his girl's friend parents' house. See, that's Andre Hayworth. Look, what I'm about to tell you gonna sound crazy. They've been abducting black people, brainwashing them, making them work for them as sex slaves and shit. I do all my research, you know, because as a TSA agent, you know, you guys are detectives, I got the same training. <sighs> Probably abducting black people, brainwashing them, and making them slaves, or sex slaves, not just regular slaves. They already got two brothers we know. What's the next move? It's please unfortunate. Please take him serious, please. It's, it's unfortunate that, like, hearing him say that, it sounds ridiculous. <laughs> They're not going to believe him. <laughs> and the fact that these TSA, they're not, they're gonna look down on him. Chris? It's, it's me, Rod. Where's Chris? He left two days ago. You haven't seen him? Oh, he never came back here. Oh my god. Oh fuck, this is so weird. Could you hold on one second? Okay, hold on. Line bitch. She is lying like a motherfucker. I know that. Ooh, that TSA shit tingles. Record. Speaker. So last time I talked to Chris, he told me your mama hypnotized him. Rod, just stop. I know why you're calling. That there's something between us. Oh my oh. god. I know you think about fucking me, Rod. I know you I all what? Fuck you! Bye! Shit! 
What the fuck? Fucking flip that shit on you. Oh my god, no. Hey, Chris. How's it going, buddy? I'm supposed to answer any outstanding questions. Our common understanding of the process has a positive impact on the success rate of the procedure. What? Phase one was the hypnotism. Phase two is is this mental preparation. Phase three, the transplantation. I'm sorry? Partial, actually. The piece of your brain connected to your nervous system needs to stay put. So you won't be gone. Oh my god. That's why everyone's acting the way they do. They're still partially there. Your existence will be as a passenger. Yeah. You'll live in a sunken place. Now you're in the sunken place. This is so fucked up. This is a trip. I'll control the motor function, so I'll be... Me? Why black people? Who knows? Some people want to be stronger, faster, cooler. You know, I could give a shit what, what color you are. You know, I want your eye, man. I want those things you see through. What the fuck? So, like, these fucking people are auctioning off to inherit traits? I guess. What the f... Dude, this is a fucking trip. This movie is fucking weird. A fucking teacup! <laughs> Fuck your tea. Oh, I thought he was about to take off his fucking That's face. That's what for I a thought second. too. What the fuck? Oh, I don't like it. Oh fuck. Ah, the reflection. The reflection. Ugh. Does he get out of this? I hope to God. You know, whoop all their asses. Fuck, I hope so. Please. God damn. Bitch! Yeah, bitch! Fuck you, dude. Kill him. Kill him. You have to kill him. You have to thank you so much. Kill him kill him more. Kill him some more. <gasps> Ear plugs! Fuck yes! Damn, he's smart. Use the fucking cushion from the chair. I would have left that shit in just in case. Honestly, because what if that what if that bitch like fucking like does it again? He's gonna fuck them all up. Please do, please, please do. Oh, oh shit! shit! <gasps> oh damn! Good for you, dude. Good for you. Oh shit. Fuck your dear head. I'm gonna use that shit to fucking kill you. Oh shit. Burn down the fucking house. Oh my god, please Dude, save this Georgina is and Walter. So insane. Oh my god. Get out, dude, get out! Snap her out of it! Is there a way to like trigger a release? Go smash that fucking cup, dude. Hell yeah. Now take a piece of that cup and fucking cut her. Does this bitch have like magneto powers or something? What the fuck? Oh shit! I meant Professor X. Oh. Shit. 
Oh, it's oh, it's fine. Oh, oh shit! What? No, no, bitch! Uh-uh! No, 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 no! Oh my god, no! Oh my god, no! Oh my god, no! Gotta pull the arm. Pull the arm down. Gotta get the arm down. Oh! Yeah, bitch! Fucking yes! Oh damn! Kill that fucking guy! Kill that fucking guy, dude! I heard a squish. I think he popped his head. What? Oh, fuck you. Do you really think you are so hot shit that you are going to get? Just fucking Googling athletes. You sick biatch. Was that the helmet he was wearing yes, in the Yes, yes, and that's fucking car in the song. I mean, I mean, he <gasps> no, no, just go, babe. Just Fuck, go. Fuck, dude. I know, it's awful. Just get out. Oh, what is, like, what? Oh, no. Oh, oh no! Shit! Why do I feel like that police officer was in on it? Oh my god, she's she's gonna do stuff. Ah, no! Oh no! You ruined my No! No! Oh my god, no. Chris! Fucking go, dude! Oh, fuck, dude. Get him, Grandpa. No. No! Oh. No! 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 Oh my god, no. Oh my god, no. Oh my god, no! Snap him out of it. Hell yeah. Let me do it. Please shoot her. Yes. Yes, bitch. Fuck off. Oh my god. No shit. Oh, bitch. Uh-uh. No. 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 Ugh. It's me. I love you. That is uh, up close and personal. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh shit. You have to kill this dude too. Help. <laughs> Help. Help me. Oh. Airport! Oh my god, thank god. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Chris. Get in the fucking car and get the fuck out of there, dude. Oh, I didn't see that it says airport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't notice that. I saw it when he when they panned to the fucking door. Fucking run that bitch over! Best friend ever. Holy shit. That just gave me chills. I mean, I told you not to go in the house. <laughs> not, not the time right now, my dude. Not the time. <laughs> Fuck the guy. Rod, let's go. Like, it's really hard to appreciate the, <laughs> the comedy that he brings to this movie because of what the fuck went down in this movie. But Rod is I'm fucking tears. everything. Motherfucking A. <laughs> we handle shit. We handle shit. TSA. Oh my god, dude. Can we go now? Seriously, you're sitting here way too long. Like, is this dude gonna, like, fall into a trance every time he hears a fucking spoon on a oh my god, teacup now? Not. Like, what the fuck? Is this, like, permanent? Dude. 
That movie was fucking incredible. The acting, the directing, the visuals, just the music. The mind manipulation. Oh my god, dude. That was... I mean, that subject matter is obviously very uncomfortable to watch because of the way it played out. But basically what they had going on was a fucking modern day slave trade. Their bingo game was a fucking auction. That's why they yes. had a picture of him there. Yes. And it's like, because the dude, the blind guy won, and he's the one who ended up getting Chris. And it's like, phase one is the hypnosis. Phase two is the prep. And then they literally take parts of the brain and put it into these fucking people. Lobotomy. So insane. I, I just... I, this is like the third. And then all the pictures of fucking Rose and like all the people that she's brought she to was, the house. Yeah. And it's like, there's Walter. There's Georgina. She was like, the you core. bitch. She's the one who does the homework, the research, and then builds these relationships and then brings them to her home. Holy shit. But this is the third thing now that I think third that we've watched with Daniel. I, I don't know how to say his last name, but... He is an amazing actor. Black Panther, he was in the episode of Black Mirror, and now this. I have seen Jordan Peele talk about why this dude is featured in all of his movies. He is amazing. So good. His acting is off the charts. That first scene where he was getting hypnotized and, like... The expression on his face and the emotion. While also having tears stream down. Yeah. That is... I don't know how you do that. Fucking S-tier acting right there. Amazing. And everyone in this movie. Just the moment, like, you showed up to the property. And just the looks on people's faces. Well, and the body language. Just... And also Jeremy going out and, like, beating up people to... So Rose's manipulation was to make you fall in love yeah. with her and then to bring you to the house. Jeremy is like, fucking just hit you over the head and yeah. bring you. He was the fighter. He had fight techniques. He had jujitsu, which, I mean, it is probably the greatest martial art to have in terms of subduing people because you know how to choke people to the point where they won't die, but you'll just be able to knock them out and control them. So, the like, going back and watching this movie again... All the fucking red flags are there. Guaranteed. Like, him talking about fighting. He wanted to find out if he was a fan. Do you watch it? Do you have any kind of, like, ability? I think he was kind of feeling him out in terms of how much of a challenge he was going to be physically. It's just... This movie was... I love the earplug part. Oh, so smart. Genius. I mean, he was... He's so smart. And, I mean, the comedic effect with Rod... Super appreciated... But because of the subject matter and what was playing out and how this was going, it was almost impossible to laugh at it. Because it was like, there's some serious shit going on. And like, you're fucking making a joke right now about T.S. motherfucking A. I mean, I, I totally saw the I told you so line coming. <laughs> like, I saw that coming. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, the comedic effect was appreciated. It was just hard to fully engage in the comedy because, again... This is some serious shit and absolutely phenomenal movie. I mean, Jordan so Peele's good. direction directing in this movie was Yeah. This was his first movie. That was the first that movie that first, he ever did. I think it was the first movie he's ever directed. You guys could fact check me on that, but I'm pretty sure. Well, damn. So Us is next and then uh Nope. Okay. Those are his three movies that he's directed. Get out. Get us. out, up, nope. Us. Us. Get out, Not us, up. nope. Up is a cartoon. Yeah. Totally different. Unbelievable. Like, so freaking good. I'm just, like, in shock. I'm kind of... There, I mean... That was a lot. That it, was, like, there's so many levels to... There. Yeah. I mean, they hit you right over the head at the very beginning in that opening scene with, like, this is going to be an uncomfortable movie to watch. Yes, but, like, somebody in the comments was like, I'm going to need therapy after this. Yes. Yes. I mean, it takes a lot for me to be uncomfortable watching anything. They did a phenomenal job of just having me just be like, what the fuck is happening? 
what is going on and just the way the story the way they told the story and progressed it because they didn't hide the fact that something weird was going on they, right. they hit you over the head with that the moment they drove on the property and the one dude was just standing there like basically just space eyed with like no expression on his face and just like he just had I that love look. the fuck that he just got the flash and then he fucking shot that bitch Rose yeah I mean, oh thank God. God he took that picture so that he knew that that triggers something like for the actual person that's in there to like come out. Insane. Wild. I cannot wait to watch the rest of this dude's movies because that was phenomenal. So good. So good. Yeah. Just, I mean, everything about it. Yes. It's fucking... I'm Amazing. like kind of like speechless a little bit because there was there was a lot. There's just so much. Yeah. That you're just like the fuck, the fuck, the fuck, the fuck. Yeah, and it's like you go back and think about what some of those folks were talking about. It's like, oh, you were a professional tennis player because you had an enhancement put in your brain, golfer. like or golf professional golfer, like they. They well, no, but he was looking for somebody. Like he, no, he, he had already asking. gone. No, he's I like, I he... used to be fast, but I think he was looking for somebody. Oh. He's like, how fast are you? Oh, so he was actually a professional golfer looking to get back to that. That's why he was there yeah. to participate in the auction. That's what it was. Yes. So you're basically... Cause they were all like interrogating ditching, him. They're ditching their old bodies... Their part of their brain is going into got it. Yes, the person that they're, you know, that's why she said grandpa get slavery. Him. Yes, at the end, grandpa that's get not, him. That's dude. The twists and turns, uh, absolutely amazing story. Just the the writing and the creativity and like the subject matter, like all of it, just. Brilliant. And the and the strong stuff as the as the guy is sitting there in the wheelchair. Yeah. Uh, this is just like the more you blowing think about my mind. You you just can't yeah. uh, like you get it, but then like you really think about it and you're like Ugh. the layers just start coming off. You're like, oh my god, that's why that happened, and that's why that is the way. Yes. It is, and that's why that happened. Unbelievable, unbelievable movie. And I'm sure there'll be more thoughts as we let this movie digest even more. Word. And just, again, if you watch it a second time, you probably just see all of it. It all just probably just jumps out at you, like, immediately. I mean, like, the 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 manipulation, the, the he's a neurosurgeon. So yeah. He, like, he can do it all in-house. Yeah. Literally. I mean, that was a hell of a fucking setup he had. Whew. Unbelievable. Shit. So Sorry, good. I'm good. Girl. Yeah. Anything yeah. else? No. All right, y'all. You guys leave all your comments down below. We'll see you guys later for the next one. Have a good one. Bye. And just a reminder, use the code Nikki Steven, N-I-K-K-I-S-T-E-V-E-N to get 55% off your first month at Scentbird.